Hey guys, we need to talk about Pokemon Journeys because it's seriously the most confusing series ever. So supposedly, it's the end of Ash and Pikachu's story, and we're all supposed to be getting ready to say goodbye to them. They're trying to figure out what it means to be a Pokemon Master, and we're all supposed to be ready for new protagonists after this. But now it seems like that might not be the case, and we've all been fooled into thinking that this is really the end for Ash and Pikachu. Okay. So listen up because there's some major tea that just dropped. The Auto Media Magazine just released an interview with Kunihiko Uyama, who's basically a huge deal when it comes to the Pokemon anime. He's been a part of it for 25 years, and he's talking about all kinds of stuff related to the anime. He talks about the distant blue sky episode in Pokemon, aim to be a Pokemon master, but what we really care about is what he has to say about Ash Ketchum's future. Now, Yuyama used to be the executive director for all the series, but now he's just the creative supervisor for Pokemon Journeys. He drops some major information in this interview that you don't want to miss. If you want to read the whole thing, check out Dogas's tweets using the link in the video description. But I'm just going to give you the highlights because that's what we really care about. So Yuyama talks about a bunch of stuff, but what we really want to know is what's happening with Ash Ketchum. And let me tell you, what he says is huge. Like, it's earth-shattering. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little, but it's definitely important. So Yuyama, the big boss behind the Pokemon anime, said that the aim to be a Pokemon Master series is all about Ash Ketchum figuring out what it means to be a Pokemon Master for himself. Basically, it's a personal dream and not some official title like being a champ or a top coordinator. Ash got to figure out what it means to him personally to be a Pokemon master. And dude, this is so cool. Yama also said that the big Pokemon that everyone's dying to see will be showing up at the climax of the series. We're not totally sure what he means by climax, but it's either the end of the whole series or the last few episodes. Either way, we could be seeing some awesome Pokemon making a comeback. I'm talking Greninja, Mutuo, Solgaleo, Pidgeot, Primate, Butterfree, and maybe even Dunsparce. Who knows, man? But one thing's for sure, this interview is a good sign that we could see some old favorites making a comeback. But here's the big news, folks. This is the part of the interview that blew my mind. Yurama thinks we haven't seen the last of Ash Ketchum. I know I know they made such a big deal about this being the end of Ash and Pikachu's story, but Yurama thinks we'll see Ash again in the future. And he's the guy who's been in charge of the anime for 25 years, so he knows what he's talking about. He didn't say how or where we'll see Ash again, but the smart money's on the Scarlet and Violet anime or some future movies. But the point is, we've been fooled folks. Pokemon Journeys had us thinking this was the end of Ash Ketchum, but Yuyama just dropped a bomb on us. Ash could be coming back and that's a big deal. It's not 100% confirmation, but it's a good sign that we haven't seen the last of our favorite Pokemon trainer. Okay, listen up guys, I've always had a hunch that Ash would make a comeback. I mean, even if it's just a small role. So to be honest, I'm not that surprised that Yuyama thinks he'll come back too. But it looks like a lot of folks were fooled into thinking that Pokemon Journeys was the end of the line for Ash and Pikachu. I guess it's because the show was hyped up as their final chapter and all that jazz. But hold your horses, folks. Don't start getting teary-eyed just yet. According to this interview with Yuyama, it looks like Ash and Pikachu won't be gone for good. I mean, they might take a break for a bit, but they'll be back. Oh, and get this. Yuyama said that Ash is forever going to be 10 years old. Like, what the heck, man? That means there probably won't be any time skips in the anime. And I doubt that the Scarlet and Violet anime will have Ash's kids as the protagonists either. By the way, I can't stress this enough, but please give props to Dogasu. He's the one who translated everything and shared it with us. Without him, I wouldn't be able to give you guys the lowdown. So do us all a solid and show him some love. So, what do you guys think? Did you honestly think Ash and Pikachu were done for good? Or were you like me and figured they'd make a comeback? And how do you feel about Ash being 10 years old forever? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and if you dug what I had to say, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel out more than you know. Alright, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and catch you later.